Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Vulcan, and I don't know if you know this, but there is a hidden trove in Tarya Gratar in Outriders World Slayer. So when you first jump in, right, you look at the map and it looks static, right? Every single run looks the same, the same rooms, the same fights, those type of things. However, there is a hidden trove that has an extra boss fight in it, as well as some special dialogue between Outrider and the boss. So in order to access this, you have to go through and you have to beat the trials all the way through once. Once you do that, the first room, the first crossroads will actually open up an additional route. So before you had left or right, and if you went right, you went to a trove. If you went left, you had two options to go through and do like these passageways or these arenas. Well, a secret third option opens up directly in front of you. You'll see a big kind of dust cloud and explosion. And then there's a big crack in this uh, stone panel here. If you go in there, you're going to have a, a bunch of waves of enemies, um, skinwalkers, porphyro crawlers. That's typically what I see. And then there's a, another boss fight. So once you kill that boss, you're going to get a legendary. Now, this is the first and only hidden thing that I've seen so far, and I'm sure there are others out there. So I wanted to create a video to kind of put the message out there that, hey, once you complete trials and you go back, you're going to see this new um, secret trove. And I guarantee you there's other ones that are tied to each crossroads after that. So I'm not sure if you have to clear it like, you know, two or three times successfully um, and then more open up. Maybe you have to clear it 10 times. I'm not entirely sure what triggers there are. I just know this one appeared after one full completion. Now you can also switch it and like drop your apocalypse tier very, very, very low to like, you know, Apoc 10 or something, go through, blast the trials, complete the whole thing, and then switch your apocalypse tier up to something, you know, more your level. And then you can go in and do this hidden trove as well. So you have two troves right at the beginning. Now there's one thing to take note. So one, this trove does not have any targeted loot. So every has boots, gloves, body armor, whatever. This one does not have any of that. It's just an extra boss fight. Number two, if you die while you're in the catacombs, which is what this trove is called, you'll be placed back at the crossroads like usual, and this route will close, and you will not be able to access it again until you go through and complete the trials another time. So my thought here is, you complete the trials, you complete this trove, you kill the boss, you go to the next crossroads, another secret trove opens up. You do that one, kill that boss, and then you go to the next crossroads and so on and so forth until you beat kind of this new game plus style of Tarya Gratar. So I'm not gonna drag this video out to be extraordinarily long, but I feel like this is something that people need to know about. So TLDR, if you're somebody who skipped to the end, um, a new secret trove opens up called the catacombs within the first crossroads. In order to open this up, you need to go through and beat the trials once. Doesn't matter what apocalypse tier you're on. You could be super low, super high. Once you do that, this will open up. It has a secret boss as well as some extra dialogue and um, another chance to get some legendaries. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Vulcan and I'll talk to you next time.